Okay, let's now set the start and ending point of our clip. This is really easy. We'll do it in the in the preview monitor. All right, so take a look. Okay, so first of all, uh, in this subject, let's learn how to set the start and ending point. To do this, just let's zoom out over here. Let's delete this video. Right, we have that single video over there. Okay, so now to get started, just delete the video you dragged, you dragged and dropped. Yeah, just delete it. And double click the practice file so you have it on the, on the preview monitor. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna focus on these two buttons. This is the set start, the mark in button, or the set, the set end, or the mark out button, however, however you wanna call it. We can use these buttons to set the starting point of a clip and set the ending point of a clip and then drag them to our timeline. It's really easy. Take a look. So for now, we have this footage over here. And remember, it's perfectly identified with identifiers. So if we have video number one, we have an identifier that says video number one. Okay, now what we're gonna do is using these two buttons, we're gonna crop every single identifier, all right? For example, we move like this, using these two, this two step back and step forward, to see where the identifier ends. So we just keep moving. There we are. So if it ends on this frame, we're just gonna click mark in, all right? We're gonna play it. And just when it ends, we're gonna stop it. We're gonna go back. And just before the identifier starts, we're gonna mark out. Okay, now we wanna drag this video to, it, to our timeline, the crop video, right? So to do this, it's really simple. Just take a look. We just gotta drag this little icon over here and we're gonna put it on row one. But why row one, right? We wanna put it on row one because if we take a look, our identifier says not only video one, but it says video number, I mean, row number one. So this specific cut will be in row number one, but our second video, if you take a look, the identifier says video two, but row number two. The row number two will be the one that's on top row number one. So we're gonna click play. We're gonna step backwards until we see the identifier. We're gonna click mark in. We're gonna click play again. And just when it enters the second identifier, we're gonna mark out. And now we're going to drag it and we're going to put it on row number two. There it is. So we have a, uh, the, the first video on row number one and the second video on row number two. So now I'm going to scroll it really quick. I'm going to do it to the entire video. And this is the exercise of this lecture. You're going to do it as well. You're going to crop every single identifier and put the video you cropped out in the specific row. All right. So I'll fast forward the example and please, you do it as well.
Okay, so that will be for this lecture. Please go ahead and crop every single identifier and put your videos on their specific row. And I'll see you on the next lecture.